Oh shoot! Bunk it off! I got him! <laughs> I got him! <laughs> hey, what's going on, y'all? Okay, so I have something really, really exciting for today. It's a little off the wall, but it's still gonna be really exciting. I found this at Walmart. This little tiny. Look at this. Like this is the size of my pointer finger. That's absolutely nuts. So I found this. It's a uh, the proficiency, which I'm sure you've seen like their rods and stuff. But it's the proficiency, and um, it's a little tiny. It's called the pocket combo. Look at that. But yeah, I'm so excited. It, it actually it comes with. It's a line through. If you see the. So there are no guides or anything, which is cool. It's got two hook keepers, so you can uh, put your lure back to the hook keeper, and then um, the it comes with the wire to wire the uh, new line through whenever you change the line, which I'm gonna do first. I don't I don't ever really trust the line that's on the that comes shipped on these, but yeah, I'm really really excited. Um, We'll go over like the specs and stuff on it, but right now I'm gonna get rigged up and then we're gonna head to the water, which I'm not anywhere near, but we're gonna head to the water and then I have a little crankbait I'm gonna throw on it too. So I'm excited. If you're not already subscribed, go down and do that right now for me and I appreciate it. All right, let's get rigged up and let's go fish. All right y'all, so I don't know if you can read that or not, but this thing has a two, five, five to one gear ratio. 2.55 to 1 gear ratio. It's recommended 30, uh, 3 pound test, 35 yards of that. I put 6 pound on here because I feel better with 6 pound, but we'll see. We're going to try it, see what happens. Um, we should be able to catch some, sm I want to start here, catch some smaller ones and a uh, little crankbait. Hopefully we should be able to catch something right here. Maybe a couple little bass or something, but um, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so you just pull that out, 20 inches, I think it compacts down to, I think it said 14 inches. This is going to be weird because, number one, I never use push buttons, and number two, it is so tiny. All right, y'all, so we are re-rigged. I had to fix the line. There was something going on in there. Um, but we're re-rigged. I had to run home. I had to drive home to get this little piece of wire because this is the wire that comes with it for threading the line down through. You cannot get a line down through here. Trust me, I tried way too long. But we're going to get out here, see if we can't catch some fish. That took about 30 minutes. <sighs> Alright y'all, I think I got it sorted out. So the line had gone up, some of some of the line had gone up into the um, top of the spool. And where that is it's supposed to float. It is immediately sinking. <laughs> but that two five five gear ratio is really <laughs> That's showing itself. It is so tiny. Look at that. I just want to catch a fish on it, you know? Oh, shoot. Don't get off. I got him. <laughs> I got him. Yes, there's a fish. <laughs> I got a fish. You done? Yeah, you done? Okay. That's not a bad hook set either. Not a bad hook set. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Got a fish. It counts. On the tiny little crappy rod. <laughs> Let's 
go down to the furthest point so we can get out there the fur furthest. <laughs> That's not bad. That'll be maybe a bass. Oh, I got something. Oh no. What the heck grabbed it? That had to have been a... Oh, my line's right there. All right, I'm going to go grab something different. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Okay, so I was um, doing some thinking. I didn't really like the way that we left this, so that's the reason for the pause in the video here. I ended up throwing that. That's that tailspin, um, kind of like a minnow, jig head, tailspin kind of deal. And that's what we caught a couple bass on. Um, but I basically, um, I wanted to go over this. What happened was I think I changed the line out on it. I didn't like three pound test. I changed it over to six pound test. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to take a really small diameter, um, like a six pound test braid, which you can get. I'm going to have to order some online. That's what I'm going to put on here. But I wanted to take a braid and put on here and I couldn't find any and I kind of did this. I just found this at Walmart, decided to do a video. Um, so it's it's nothing wrong with this. It was just didn't work with the six pound test fluoro that I put on it. But um, I basically, so I'm going to take this off of here and show you. So you, it's like any other uh, push button. So basically what happened was up under the cap right here so the cap is what um, that's where your, your I don't know if you can see that or not see that little thing sticking out that's what catches the line <clears throat> so when when this pulls forward so let me see if I can do it without see that do you see that disappear so then we'll go ahead and reset it so Whenever you do the push button, I'm going to hold this because if I don't, the whole thing is going to come out of the, the housing. So watch that little dot right there. See that how it goes down? So that's what lets the line come out through the cap, the washer and the cap right there. That's what lets it come out. What happened was I think I put too much line on there. And so this, you have to hold the reel. And then you can unscrew, it's my pocket, you can unscrew this. It's different for different reels. Some of them have a nut right here that you take off. But you unscrew this. I'm going to drop it in the sand here. Alright, so then you can get to the bottom. That's the mechanism right there. Right here, I had line get up in here and then that's what was keeping it and then my line got a little nick in it all the way back because I had to peel off all that line <laughs> and that little spot right there that's how I lost that little crankbait which stinks because it's like a five dollar crankbait and there is a bass swimming around with it in its mouth but is what it is but um I'm gonna get the rest of this line off of here um I'm gonna spool it with braid I need to order some online and then we're gonna take this thing back out and we're going to see if we can't go catch some fish on it. But I just wanted to explain that to you. Um, let's get back to the video. I got the lure that I was using in that last video. I guess that little micro pole. I'm not going through the hassle of restringing that thing. It is a pain. All right, something got my lure. That had to have been like a bigger bass or something. That's six pound test and it just snapped it. Okay. Right, where are you? Please, please, please. Oh, oh, he swallowed that. Did you also swallow a bitsy minnow? Just asking. No, you swallowed that, didn't you? Yes, I swallowed it. Do you have a bitsy minnow in there? <laughs> no? 
not so much. How did you eat that, dude? Alright, you're good. I got it out. There's a little bass. So I'm going to put him back in over here. There he goes. Put him over here so that maybe if there's another one over here I can catch it. Oh, so sadly enough, I lost that other lure. I've, I've tried. I can't get it back. I thought that last little bass I caught had the bitsy minnow in it, but it didn't. I don't know, that stinks. I hate losing lures and I hate losing lures and thinking that the fish has it like in its mouth swimming around like that. But I tried. I tried to catch it. But um, anyway, I am going to um, switch places and actually go to like a little pond instead of this little tiny retention pond that has... I mean, I'm, I actually caught two fish out of it. I was surprised. But we did catch one on the tiny little pole. So... But we're just going to keep throwing this shad style bait. Let's go. Alright y'all, spot number two. He was under a lily pad. Stay warm. Trying to stay warm, huh? Looks like, ooh, easy meal. It's not a bad bass. All right, y'all. So, um, decided to do the outro in the car. Um, yeah, that was a weird day. I didn't have a lot of time to fish. It's I fished for like three hours um which i know for some of y'all that's a long time but i fished for about three hours and uh i caught three no three i don't know anyway we used that little rod um which i think could be cool but i i don't know i gotta figure that one out <laughs> i have another little rod i'm gonna see if that real actually that real might be the i don't know i'll figure it out but um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure that you hit the like button if you like the video. Comment down below. I like reading the comments. Um, share the video out and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Uh, if let's see, we got a trip coming up. I'm not gonna not gonna say any of the surprises, but we have a trip coming up for Christmas, so that's gonna be a killer video. So stay tuned. Take care.